buzz. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Here we go, taste buds, here we go. <laughs> Sally? That was a little league I like that. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good. And we're back, everybody. We're back. We're getting a hot one today. Also, it's like 103 degrees out. Yes, yes. We're bringing in a hot one, though. I'm because getting text messages about the heat saying, like, like from Con Ed saying, like, in case your power goes out because of this heat. Oh, it's like that? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, where the grid can't handle? That's what they're... <coughs> You're getting, what'd you say? Text messages? Mm -hmm. Con Edison has your, has your, did they text you? Well, I got an inside man. <laughs> you have an inside man at Con Ed? I don't mean to brag, but I know Ed. Over <laughs> at Con Ed. <laughs> He's a good guy. No, yeah, yeah they, you know, they got your number for when you sign up, and they send you, like, a mass text. And they're just like, like, be careful today? Just, not be careful, just saying, like, hey, just be aware, like, the, the heat, this is a considered a heat wave, and if the heat does go out, if the power does go out because of it, we're standing by. I like, know they say, like, check, on these days like this, they say, check on your old people, right? Uh, yeah. That's what they do, right? They just say, what do old people do out in, like, Zona, Arizona? I don't know if a lot of old people live in Arizona. I've never called Arizona Zona in my life. <laughs> yeah. No, I like I just, it. I don't know if you know that's a thing. The I zone? said it, and as it came out of my mouth, I did not like it, and then I corrected to Arizona. The zone, I call the it. The zone. Yeah. I get that. I don't like uh, Arizona because of the heat. It's like, it, it's too much. Like, I'm just like, I couldn't deal with that. On the, Like, that mu that level of heat, I, 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 like, for that portion of the, larger portion of the year, it's way too much for me. You think people me. born into Arizona... They're just used to it, yeah? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what it Arizona is. Arizona transplants, they got to know what they're signing up for. They got to be, they have to brace for it, right? Who you can't, can't just be a person that doesn't like heat and decide to move to Arizona, lest you cannot control it because that's I where know your job is taking you. I know you find yourself in that situation, I'll condolence. <laughs> I know people that have moved there, though, and they're like, I love it, I love it. And I'm like, but the heat... Yeah, it's like that weird shit where it's like 114 is fine. It's the same they, thing with and parts. And they say they're dry. It's dry, but yeah. I don't. I mean, I'm not dry. But it's the same thing with like parts of Canada. There are cities in Canada that I love. Like there are cities in Arizona I really enjoy. But there are cities in Canada, and, I, and then I just go, oh, I could picture living here. And then you go, what's the winter like? And then they tell you, and you're like, forget it, man. Nah. I can't do it. It's the opposite in Arizona. It says over 80 degrees you check on your old people, all your old friends and neighbors and stuff. 80, uh, that sounds like a lot. All right, fair enough. What uh, what would you eat? This is the thing I think about in like a, in a climate like Arizona. What would you, what would, if you lived there, what would you eat? Because I feel like I'd always be so hot. I could never eat cold, hot food. I'd always have, everything would have to be cold all the time. Chilled, right? A lot of, <laughs> yes, a lot of feel, ices right? yeah. and gazpachos and chilled, I don't even know what. I was going to say like cocktail shrimp. Because that's usually on ice, but I don't know if I want shrimp and heat like that either. I picture eating a lot of shrimp cocktail. You did too. Yeah, Is shrimp it because cocktail. It's usually served in a uh, over with ice? like a with like a, a slushy as my drink. And, uh, and uh, there's so many things that like I don't know. yeah, all hot food seems seems like a pass when you're in a place that's 120. Degrees. A lot of ice cream for breakfast. Uh, Arizona's only official state food is the state fish, the Apache trout. It's a landlocked state, is it not? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's landlocked, isn't it? Why would there... Well, let's hold on before I start talking here. No, it's not. Okay. No, it is. Mexico's up against it. Yeah. yeah duh. Why would, the, would their thing be a fish? Yeah, but over there by the real edge by Mexico... Uh, was that New Mexico? Or is that Mexico? Can't see. Mexico, Mexico goes up over there? No. Right underneath California. That's considered... Oh, yeah, sure, because Cabo and so you're right. Uh, like down that area. Yeah, yeah, northern. Um, I guess every state is a state fish. I mean, it looks like it's just a short jaunt to the water. I just there. didn't know if it... I, maybe I read it wrong. I was thinking it was saying the mascot was a fish. Uh, I think it's just saying they have a state fish, but every state probably is No, it's is the state official fish. state food. Every state has an official state food? Let's says, open up this can of worms. It says... <laughs> no, I'm asking. I'm asking. It says... No, let's do it. It says... I'm saying I guess every state has a state fish and a state bird. I don't know. <laughs> However, the state does have some unofficial state foods, in particular the chimichanga. Chimichangas, otherwise known as a deep fried burrito, are a state favorite that reflect the state's Mexican American culture. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Chimichanga, name a food 
with a more fun name than that. Name it. Uh, you know, Garbanzo Beans is always great. Garbanzo is fun. That's, There's been a lot of bits about that. pulled out of your pocket. I like that. Yeah, I've but heard a lot of bits about Garbanzo have Beans. Have you? Yeah. My friend Lizzie Cooperman has a very funny bit about the name. What's the bit? I don't remember. What are you doing to me here? I just want to know. She's I, just like, how, who do they? What am I doing to you? Who do they? Who do they think they are? Oh, look at me! I'm a garbanzo bean, something like that. It's very funny. I can't I do it, but it's funny. Okay, yeah. I hopefully you're not getting it right because I don't see it. D- don't. That's a friend of mine. Don't say that. Don't I have nothing but nice things. I don't even know her. I'm not saying it, but I'm saying your your take on what she said. I, it feels like I you got to see her do it. That's why I said Who I can't do, they do it. They you got to see her do her All thing. Right. Well, she's yeah. very funny. I don't. I still don't think that beats Chimichanga though. But garbanzo is great. Garbanzo is very good. Sound off in the comments. Chimichanga with uh, foods that you think sound uh, funny and are fun to say. Uh, yeah. What other what other fun foods are there? Hey, to the listeners that don't watch this. Hi. We never speak to you directly, but if you if you don't have the time or the energy or feel the need to watch on video, because our listenership, our pure audio listenership, is growing in great strides. Uh-huh. And uh, hey, Pip, I have a question for you. Spotify numbers—they get reported back to our to our ad people, or no? Yeah, yeah, they're all added up together. Spotify is included in yeah. that because uh, I saw a conversation online this week, uh, comics being like. We never signed off on our albums being on Spotify, and we don't get paid for it. So wh- how are they? Who's giving them our albums? That has to deal with who recorded their album. Actually, owns the rights to their for albums. sure. But for us, these these Spotify numbers are getting reported back. Well, then God bless everybody. These okay. Spotify numbers count. Yeah. So if you're just listening, you missed some great editing. Uh, from the the great homeless pimp. Yes. Uh, there's all these little Easter eggs and zingers in there, and he zooms in, and he he really accentuates our little tete a tete that we have. Um, but nonetheless, we need audio listenership too, and you guys that are listening to audio on your commutes and what have you, this shout out is for you. Look at that. Go back to the state foods of New York, pimp. State fruit, the apple. That makes sense. State muffin, the apple muffin. I didn't even know there was Getting an apple lazy. muffin, but it makes sense. <laughs> State snack, yogurt, steak, vegetable. Oh, no, that's, now we're into North Carolina. Huh. The, the New York, is New there a York, New York State, State snack is yogurt? What a shit Why? snack. <laughs> is there a New York State fish? No, only Arizona. Official fish of New York is a speckled trout. Oh, it trout. is. A, a trout Trouts again. are big, huh? Trouts? Al Troutwig? New York State foods. Oh, these are identified with New York, but not a fish. Restaurant. Oh, gosh. It's pizza. De- <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, the classic old fashioned is a time. Oh, that's an old fat. Oh, that's New York's what New York drink is. That's the drink New York is famous for is the classic old fashioned. This is the equivalent of an on ass stroke we're having. Here. Yeah. <laughs> We just I we're, can't you're, see you're, 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 because you're, this it's camera like a beautiful is in, mind. You're reading fragmented this things camera is on in different front topics. Of me. This no, camera's I'm not in front of me. You. I'm just I'm just calling out that I'm sitting here and I'm not following. Yeah. When it scrolls, I can't see what's going on. All right. The classic old fashioned is a time tested archetype cocktail revered by many and hated by few. Maybe I should put that up against the uh, margarita. Itself. With a long catalog of flavor twists and adaptations, including many pioneered in New York City, it's no surprise that it makes the classic New York drink list. All right, well, that's something. Today, what we're doing, though... Yeah, go to New York State Official Dessert. Google that, and let's see if it falls into... Today is a zinger. Yeah, let's see if the official dessert... It's got to be cheesecake, right? New York State... No, it doesn't have one. New Mexico State cookie, though, is... California's official dessert is, is a, a bis- fortune cookie. What is that? Biscotti? How do you say that? That's bisco- biscochito. That's hard to say. Um, that's a fun word, food word. Biscochito, biscochito is nice. I never even heard that it before. It's Me like either. a biscuit and a Cheeto together. Pimp, what's a biscochito? Yeah, copy it from Our name there. Name was Bisco. <laughs> Don't you biscochito. Know. Well, look at that. It's like a little. Oh, biscuit. I know what a biscochito is. Did that I say that like right? Nice I tried to put a little English on it. Basically means biscuit, and while they are extremely similar to Spanish mantecados, another fun word. Shortbreads. Shortbreads made with pig fat, the distinctly spicy, disarmingly simple. Ooh, that sounds good. Cookies, an original New Mexican recipe, integral. If you had a biscochito cuisine, sound off in the comments. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Well, the reason we asked about sweets is because of our lineup for today. Today, we 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 moved. Uh, we were we asked better treat, and we changed it to which is better because I took issue with the fact to have treat in the poll survey because mm-hmm. I think that would give an unfair advantage to the Rice Krispie treat, and I'd hear a hundred times over, "It's got treat right in the name. Right. Come on!" And I didn't. I wanted to eliminate that. Right. So Sal, we got. If you can't tell, is foolishly picked s'mores to go against foolishly to go against the mighty, mighty Rice Krispie treat. Rice Krispie treat is a dime a dozen. Watch yourself. Watch it's yourself. It's a dime a dozen. Watch yourself. Okay, it's a cereal with melted marshmallow on it. Full stop. Okay, people make it homemade. Well, Kellogg's make it, and they package it, and they put it on shelves in stores. Most of them taste pretty similar. It's a nice taste. Some would say it's acquired, but it's fine. It is mixing a breakfast cereal. One of the greatest breakfast and a, cereals. And a sweet. One of the all-time Don't greatest get me wrong. breakfast cereals. I can appreciate a Rice Krispie treat. I couldn't have it every day. I got to be in the mood. And when it hits, it hits well. But a s'mores is a decadent masterpiece that, when done right, will bring you to another level. Well, I'll a, tell a, you. A, a lane, I'll a tell, lane, a lane. A s'mores is in a lane that a Rice Krispie Treat I'll tell you where get your, into. I'll tell you where your argument has already gone wrong. The words, when done right, it's never been done right. Uh, it's an wrong. impossible. A s'mores is like it's pizza. Impos- it's always good. But it's when an impossible you, when you thing. Get to, it with let me right finish. Of toast let me finish. Mark. It's an impossible thing to concoct at a campfire. I've sat with you and tried to concoct it at a campfire and as you're supposed to. It was. It is so hard to get it right. The chocolate doesn't melt enough. The marshmallow melts too much. You bite it once, it falls completely to pieces. You know as well as I do, it's a all- s'more is a damn near impossible thing to get right. I, can I can I say something on on the heels of that though? I think that. That whole entire experience is part of what I like about the s'mores, okay? It's not just for campfires, but while we're at it, if we're there, I mean, if you're at a campfire, if you're at a campfire and you have the ingredients for s'mores, Rice Krispie Treats, you might as well just throw them into the ocean. <laughs> I mean, don't put me in a campfire setting. Oh, you're going to want to keep those Rice Krispie is- Treats around. For the fifth time, three quarters of your s'more falls into the flames and you yell, Sucker! Again, you're gonna go. Can guess I just what? have one of these white crispy treats? Guess Give what? One of these. You got a box of graham crackers. You got a bag of marshmallows. If you can't fiddle around and get it to work once, you you waste a couple of marshmallows in the process. So what? Hot it's marshmallow. Hot. I love a marshmallow that goes ablaze on its own. Then you blow it out, and it gets that real charred, caramelized outer it's shell. Fun in, it's fun in theory, but you can't eat it till it cools off again. And then it just tastes like burnt cold marshmallow. I I don't think a marshmallow. Uh, I think a marshmallow is the most overrated treat of all time. Now, granted, it's in both of these treats Mm -hmm. but i will take a caramelized hot semi-melted marshmallow i mean look every day of the week twice on sunday over the coagulated hardened marshmallow i'll put you to sleep right now i'll put you to sleep right now are you gonna start doing your act now wow okay i'm gonna put you to sleep right now make a cocoa crispies uh rice crispy treat and you're getting the you're getting every great part of the s'mores here with something better than graham cracker, which is Rice Krispies. Here we go. No, no, it's not a here we go. We're, 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 we've been talking about it for three minutes. He's abandoned the original Rice Krispie. I'm treat not abandoning for the it. cocoa Rice Krispie treat already because he needs help right away. It might be obvious, but s'mores are definitely an American treat and aren't necessarily <laughs> known or enjoyed around the world. <laughs> Per Wikipedia, the first recorded recipe for the gooey summer snacks was found in 1927 Girl Scout publication. Another brand of shit sweets. Uh, although, uh, listen, you're, you're, you're in the minority there, babe. No, I'm not. I shit all over them before we talked about the Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scout cookies suck. Girl Scout cookies are. Um, um, they suck. Uh, nah. They suck. We already know about this. Girl Scout cookies raise they young girls suck. up. We already know about this. They suck. I screamed at your dumb face about this a long time ago. They suck. They they they, they any give, cookie they give recipe girls, they teach any girls cookie about, recipe about that leans on commerce, coconut. I mean, you're in trouble. Commerce and business and supply and demand and baking and, and annoying your neighbors cause, and knocking on doors unsolicited and they, no, courtesy calls and all the intrusive behaviors are the worst industries in America. Uh, if I had anyway. a box of Girl Scout cookies right here right now, you nope. thumb your nose at it. Yep. No, you wouldn't. I would thumb my nose at it. No, you wouldn't. I would thumb my nose at no, it. No, you wouldn't. You need to look in my eyes and see how serious I am. I would not touch them. 
I wouldn't even be tempted. Every single flavor? Yes. I don't believe you. Yes. You're not being reasonable. I'm I'm being reasonable. They if, suck. I, if I had their product line in front of me, not worth the cows. Ten different babe. boxes. Not you wouldn't buy worth one. The cows. You know how full of shit you are. Every episode we do from now until the end of this season, I'm gonna have all ten boxes of of uh, Girl Scout cookies I'm in front there. of us, and I want to see I'm you resist there. them. Go ahead, I will. Every single I'll time. Tell you what, put a bag of combos on top of each box. I'll yeah. resist all of it. I don't give a shit. You should just give in. You should give in to what you know is true in your heart. Which is that the combo is a wonderful snack that's been around for a long time without any help from advertisement because it doesn't need it and that it's underrated. And you know what? Everyone loves an underdog story. And I think that I, I will take underrated treats over most popular treats all the time. I like something that flies a little under the radar. That being said, this is s'mores. literally the opposite of every argument you ever make. S'mores. Every argument you ever make is, it's a powerhouse. It's been around since the beginning of time. It's undeniable. It's everybody's favorite. This, that's always I didn't your say argument. I didn't say I didn't like powerhouses. I just said, a lot of times, I like the underdog in a, in, instead of a powerhouse because it's not the you, regular you could, thing could, everyone go, always go, goes for. You could go to a campsite and 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 have a better shot handing out Rice Krispie treats than you would with s'mores. Joe, this Once is, you get this past- is why this is why some of our listeners actually hate you. Why? With a passion. Because <laughs> a sentence like you can go to a campfire and people I'll will tell choose you Rice Krispie treats over a s'mores. I'll tell you why. S'mores and I'll campfires tell you why. are literally connected I will tell at you the why. Seams, but babe. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because once you get past the excitement, and this is what happened to me the first time I made s'mores when I was a kid. I was so excited to make these things. Once you get past the excitement of putting it together and realizing it is a gigantic pain in the ass without a microwave oven. part of the charm. Hold on. You get tired of it and you get bored. And what you start doing is eating the ingredients separately. And plain chocolate with plain graham crackers and plain marshmallows you? is boring. Let me finish. Is boring. And on top of it, why I make the claim, and for all of you doubters out there, I bet you agree with me after I say this, you can't get a kid to put his cell phone down now. You think you're going to go to a campsite and get a kid excited to put a s'more together? Oh, God. Because he's what a be- ridiculous argument. Because Kids, He's, you dangle you s'mores think, in front of them to get them to even go on the camping trip. Please, you're not getting a child please, that is sitting at a campfire that please. will rip your eyeballs out <laughs> to not get a skewer and the ingredients for a s'more. You think a kid, kids will flip their lids to make a s'mores over an open flame at a campfire? All buddy, they want to do is put a marshmallow they're crunching. on a stick. They want to see the chocolate melt. They want to put it into a sandwich. A kid don't care that it's all over the face, clothes, buddy, and hands. You got, it's all part of it. You it's got, got nine year old. School. Cool you charm. got nine-year-olds crunching Bitcoin numbers on their phones. You think they're going to be wooed with a stick and a yeah, cracker? I do. Are you nuts? Yeah, I do. Are you no nuts? No nine-year-old is getting Bitcoin. Stop with the hyperbole. There's a National S'mores Day. It's celebrated August 10th. Look at that. Only in this country. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of trouble with the rest trouble, of the I'm world, I'm going to have trouble Pally. with the voting in other countries. Hopefully, they've heard of a s'mores before, which, by the way, oh, is look at stylized, this. and it means look at this. some more. Look. As in, I want some more. As in, it's that good. Look at this. Look at this dumbass claim. When making a s'more, oh, try wow. something extra by adding a slice of banana strawberry, a peanut butter cup, a maraschino chip. Yeah, make it even harder to keep the thing together. Actually, that is wonderful. No, I can't wait not. to try those things. <laughs> a peanut butter cup or a banana? I really would love to try yeah, that. Theory, I'm going to try it. In theory. Joe, but making a s'more, Joe. Making, a s'more well, making a s'more on an open fire, it's literally like saying, let's make club sandwiches on the fire Joe, tonight. You have a let's fuck- put club sandwiches Joe. together or the stick Joe, on the you fire look down, you look down right them. here. You look down right here. I got two plates, okay? One has a s'more on it, okay? It's a golden toasted caramelized marshmallow. Never seen it in my life, but sure. a beautiful milk chocolate yep. that is kind of almost melted right. in between the sandwich of two delicious yeah. golden graham I get crackers. It. Never okay? saw. You have that, a piping hot, fresh, readily made sauce. And by the way, if you get it at a restaurant or you get it in the form of a Pop-Tart, whatever the combination is, chocolate and graham cracker is way, way more tasty, delectable, and, and desirable than rice Krispies. Krispies. And marshmallows? Rice. Crispy rice. No, and marshmallows. You stop the- short at two. Maybe you throw butter in it, but it's, would you want that? Or they you have, want a, bo- you know a they let have- me finish now. <laughs> oh do you want a brick of yes. crisp rice? Yes, I do. With dry yes, marshmallow stickiness over yes, it? Yes, I do. Over yes, a piping hot, freshly made, Here we melted go. chocolate, this caramelized marshmallow s'more. Joe, you're ridiculous, Joe. Just say that those two can even compete. Sal. 
But well, here's I'm, I'm, I'm in a lane. I'm in my rearview mirror looking at the, oh, looking at the right search retreat. I'm looking at you Shout. in the rearview mirror, babe. You, you, just on ingredients alone, you get rocked. May I got I, chocolate. I got I, chocolate involved. Get chocolate. The flavor you went against? I have, lost the vanilla? I have, I have marshmallow. No, no, it didn't. Yes, it did. Vanilla one. No, but that's what I'm saying. It lost to vanilla. Chocolate. And I had vanilla. I know. I'm saying stop touting about this flavor that you say is so great when it when it got creamed against a vanilla. We were talking ice cream. No, we were talking flavors. Chocolate no, we were talking vanilla. ice cream. I love Butcher Box. I love Butcher Box. That is not in the copy. I say that of my own merit. Um, so do I. I and love I, a range of pork and beef and meat delivered to my home that are high quality cuts that I don't have to go out for and lug home. They come frozen. I throw them right in the freezer, and then I am good for the month. I, I especially love it because it's summertime, yes. and I love to cook. Particularly love cooking meat. Particularly love cooking meat in the summertime. BBQ, babe. Particularly love cooking meat in the summertime on the grill. Butcher Box is hooking me up. Options like 100% grass-fed and finished beef. Nobody likes incomplete beef. Let's be honest. <laughs> Free-range organic chicken. Nothing's better than free. Yep. Humanely raised pork, wild-caught lobster tails, wild-caught Alaskan salmon, and sugar nitrate free free bacon. That's I the thing that. about it yeah. all. It's 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 all humane. Uh, each box ships with 9 to 11 pounds of meat, packed fresh, ship frozen, vacuum sealed. It's simple to store in the freezer. Like I said, you throw it in there, you grab it later on the go. I love it. The way it's packaged, it lasts forever. It's so convenient. It's so affordable. It's just everything you need right now to make your summer and just day-to-day -day life even that much better. So I feel lucky that ButcherBox is sponsoring us and that they want you to celebrate this summer. They want to help you out. So new members, you're getting two free lobster tails and two free ribeyes in your first box. So you can do a high-quality surf and turf with your friends right off the bat. This is what you can do. Sign up. Choose your box and your delivery frequency. They offer four curated box options and a custom box that lets you choose what you want. Uh, but Butcher Box ships you the order frozen, peak freshness, and packed in an eco-friendly, 100% recyclable box. You enjoy high-quality meat delivered to your door and more time for amazing meals together. I'm loving all of this stuff. All this stuff now where we don't have to go out anymore and, and just lug around and actually go to the supermarket. And it gets... I, I mean... I'm looking for convenience. My time is money. I'm looking to save time. Uh, Butcher Box is offering our listeners of Taste Buds two five ounce lobster tails and two 10 ounce ribeyes for free in your first box. You only get this special deal when you sign up for a new membership. It's butcherbox.com slash taste buds. That's butcherbox.com slash taste buds. Free lobster tails and ribeyes in your first box. Come on. Butcher Box. Surf and turf on them. It's wild. So you doing a lot of shopping online? Always. Me too, babe. I know that women be shopping, but you know who also be shopping? Men. Sal, Sal and Joe. Sal and Joe <laughs> be, be shopping. shopping. The taste buds be shopping. Look, folks, it's this simple. Honey is a service that's going to give you access it's instantly. A, a service. Okay. That's going to get... What did you think I said? You said it weird. Okay, it's a service that's going to give you instant access to millions of promo codes when you are checking out on many of your favorite websites. Honey will automatically fill in the promo code box for you at the checkout. It's a plug-in that adds to your browser. It won't fill with just one promo code either. It'll dump a ton of promo codes into your checkout. You can test them in seconds and see if one gives you a discount. Look, he's got it right here. This, right? is, this is different than every other thing we talk about because we're usually telling you to order something. This is like it's going to help you save on things. There's nothing to order. The discounts I've said, it's, it's been great. I love honey. I love because I was a guy that would Google discount code at checkout for such and such. Uh, I love honey. It's like getting a million promo codes from this one little podcast. We talk about it all the time. Every time I online shop, yeah. I get to the checkout page and it says promo code. And then I'm like, oh my God, they exist. And then I go on a hunt for promo codes. Uh, I leave the page and then 95% of the time, they just don't work. This also, takes all that out. Also, they're going to give you five bucks. You can just get five bucks in your Venmo account just for trying out Honey. All you have to do to get those five bucks is go to joinhoney.com slash taste buds and sign up with the email associated with your Venmo account by June 30th. Okay? So five bucks into your Venmo account plus all those free promo codes by going to joinhoney.com slash taste buds. That's joinhoney.com slash taste buds. Do it by June 30th.
Oh my God. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm going to say something right now. I don't Let give a shit. You got marshmallow and you got crisp rice. That's what you got. And that's all you need, baby. That's all you need, baby. I'll see you, marshmallow. Baby, I'll that's all you, you need. I'll raise you melted chocolate and graham crackers. That's all you need. Are you nuts? Your favorite cereal. You almost took golden grams against Fruit Loops because you love graham crackers so much. Golden grams don't taste like graham crackers. Golden grams taste like a variation of graham crackers Americans that are infinitely more delicious. Thank you very much. Yeah, now, that's like now, saying cinnamon now, toast crunch now, tastes like French oh, toast. Oh, you're falling apart at the seams. No, now, babe. Yes, you are. I'm, you trying, I'm still trying to make a point. Golden don't taste like graham crackers. I'm what still trying to make like? a point. I said they taste like elevated graham crackers. They don't taste like a graham cracker oh out of the God. box. You think you think you a low-rent bag of graham cracker substitute is better than the original thing? You think a cereal yeah. is better than the yes. actual graham yes. cracker? Yes, yes, Fine. yes. Fine. Yes. Americans yes. buy 90 million pounds of marshmallows every year. Additionally, during the summer, it's estimated 50% of marshmallows sold are used cool. for s'mores. It's so weird that they don't make them in a store packaged as a common snack that you see against every famous candy bar in the entire world. Let me tell you something right now. So weird. No, no. I want to make my point no. With, against... No, you just yelled for five minutes. I'm going to make oh, a I'm point. Sorry, I was doing an impression of you. I'm just going to make a point. Look who's talking. Look, Look who's, who's talking, talking too. All right. I'm going to make a point, Sal. This is, here you go again with the elusive Bigfoot argument. That's what I'm going to start calling it with you. A toasted Malamars. golden brown. Hold on. A toasted golden brown s'more with the chocolate just right and the marshmallow. I have never seen it, Sal. Because you're it's dope. It's never looked you're like that. Dope. You don't, uh, you own a sandwich shop and you I can't hold a marshmallow over a flame. I made these as a kid with my folks and I said, I don't want to do this anymore. It sucks. It's impossible to make it right. Oh, did you? Just, Joe, just give up on everything then. You can't battle through a s'mores. You can't. At the end of a s'mores, you're just unraveled. It's not a sound way to make a snack. Let me tell you something right now. It's ridiculous. Let me tell you Nothing against a breakfast cereal. Look at that. Nothing Look how beautiful cereal. that looks. That looks beautiful. That looks like like that, that looks like something uh, weird. It looks that like looks delicious like, marshmallow. Nah, it doesn't. And, like, and, and by the way, I got it looks news like for you. with semen I on got it. news for you, buddy boy. A lot yeah. of people throw chocolate chips in their Rice Krispie treats, so you can have chocolate in there too. Well, let's talk about the classic recipes, please. Okay, you cheap skate okay. liar. Really? Let's talk about adding a maraschino cherry to the s'more. I just said I would like to try that. I didn't put it up against the Rice Krispie. Can I tell you something right now? Stand alone. I already told you, marshmallow for me is an overrated treat. Granted, it's in both. It's a wash. But your two ingredients are crispy rice. Pimp, you look up the ingredients. Rice Krispies alone. Look up the ingredients. Rice Krispies, rice Krispies rice alone. Treats. It's butter. It's Rice Krispies alone. Butter is huge. But, butter, but listen to me. It's Rice Krispie alone. A delectable, desired, top-notch, actual dessert treat? No. It's marshmallow alone. Can you look at me when I speak to you? I don't want Can to. Can you not look past me? And almost, I, it almost, I, almost sounds like your ears are also closed. Your face tells me that your ears are also shut. Go ahead. Please. Your two ingredients, your two big bangers, marshmallow, take it or leave it, whatever. This I think is a, a terrible gross. argument you're making. This is like, you yeah, fought. But your ingredient is you, just but crisp you fought, rice. But Sal, you fought for peanut butter and jelly, and your whole argument was these two flavors are so good together, it's all you need. It's Sometimes all you need is two flavors. You don't need more than that. My point to you is this. Plain old chocolate, a plain old marshmallow, and a plain old graham cracker all suck Bullshit. by themselves. They're all awesome. And they combine to make a goddamn okay. Voltron. So you would eat your rice crispy so pizza. Sit what do you got? Couch. Three elves. You would you sit got on three the couch. Three elves being like snap, crackle, pop. You would sit on the it. couch. You would sit on the couch and eat a box of plain graham crackers. Oh, you don't even know, bro. You're, that's you don't crazy. Even know. That's crazy. Oh, graham cracker, a golden graham cracker is delicious. You dunk that shit in milk, I'll go through a sleeve. Graham that's crackers, crazy. Big, golden graham is your favorite cereal. It tastes like a better graham cracker. If it tastes just like a graham what cracker, so wouldn't be. It tastes like a graham cracker, better or not. Okay, Joe, Joe, Cocoa Joe, Puffs taste Joe, like chocolate. Joe, I they, prefer it to regular chocolate. Joe, they both they both have marshmallow. The marshmallows are, are washed. I understand. Now, I'm left with chocolate and graham crackers, and you're left with crispy right. rice, and what you're left with, what you're left with is undercooked chocolate, yeah. a burnt okay. marshmallow, and a raw graham cracker. Yeah. You ever go to the deli? Because this you fantasy deli? version in the picture does not exist. Okay. It has never happened. Okay. You ever go to a deli, and you see them, they try to pawn off the homemade rice? Rice crispy bricks to you that they wrap yeah, the in their own that, saran yeah, wrap. The ones that sell out every day. Yeah. The ones that sell out yeah, every the day. The amazing ones that are huge that I would buy almost every single that, day. Uh, that, 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 yeah. It looks like you're eating. A, yeah, literally. The a, most like you're, amazing like you're, thing like ever. Like you're a yeah. mason. Yeah. Like you're a brick yeah. mason. Yeah. 
funny. I've never just seen s'mores. Never seen s'mores. Because s'mores, never just, seen s'mores. Because s'mores are made never over an open s'mores. flame, bitch. Oh, yeah. Open flames aren't in delicatessens. Okay. Where we Not got, usually. Where are we at with votes, Pimpy? 10,875 votes. Where are we at with time? You love going to the phones when you when I got you because on the I'm ropes. Trying to when I got you on the ropes, because ah, I'm trying to, to keep Let's us go on the phones. Because I'm trying to keep us on track. You're flailing. Today. We're on track. It's only 25 minutes. I asked no, where we were at on time. That's all I asked. I'm not allowed to ask where we're at on time. You like to go to the polls. I time. didn't go to the polls. Pimp went to the polls. Did you see me click the polls? I said, where are we at on time? You said, what do the polls say? No, I didn't. I said, where are we at on votes and where are we at on time? I just want to see how many people vote. Where are we at on votes is not what do the polls say? I wanted to see how many people voted, the number of votes so far. <laughs> because you're antsy. You're antsy to get out of the conversation because you're on the ropes. <sighs> All right. Rice Krispie Treats are for children. Even Malamars. They're, they're, they're for children. Even Malamars. Rice Krispie Treat is for someone Malamars, in the first grade. A s'mores is for anybody. Anybody. Even, even that's Malamars. Above 18. Even Malamars above can 13. only be bought. Even Malamars can only be bought for certain months out of the year because of the conditions they have to be shipped in. It's, that it is does a, not even apply to this argument. How does it not apply? Because because the rules for it to be shipped are you are gonna are gonna are gonna come into play when we're talking the taste. Between the two? Also, it's a Malamar. It's got the ingredient. Uh, there you go. They've perfected s'mores not needing to be made over an open flame. You still have all three ingredients, and people live so and die am, by Malamars. Malamars, so by the way, not my dad's favorite treats. cookie. Why am I not seeing these three flavors put together everywhere else? Why am I only seeing What do you mean, Malamars? Once in a while at a campground. Pinwheels have them, too. Pinwheels. <laughs> The same version. Why am I only seeing these three flavors together once a year? Bullshit. I have my weddings. Fire. I By have the my way, weddings. For weddings is a special treat at weddings. Bullshit artist. I've You're so it. full of shit, you adam at weddings. Uh, Get I'll out of here. I, I can tell you three weddings I had out the top of my head. Okay. Go I ahead. went to the White Face Lodge upstate to my friend Keith and Liz's wedding. They had a big open flame and s'mores were the hit of the wedding and the Budos band played at it. Oh, that's so weird. A bunch of people in their 40s and 50s and 60s loved s'mores. 50s and 60s? I went to this wedding 10 years ago when I was in my 30s. Yeah, I, I'm telling well, you. Well, I don't understand your arguments. It doesn't matter. As a kid, I was molested by a stranger who offered me some s'mores. I'll go with Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> if you're into being molested, all means go with s'mores. Well, look. <laughs> look, honestly, which is her name, it says honestly. I don't, um, I, I'm sorry that you got molested, but also you're insane, at, you know, Independent of the molestation, you're insane if you think that people that make s'mores are going to molest you every that. time. That's, just, that's ridiculous. You, I, this is one of the hottest I've ever seen you on this show. I don't know why you're so worked up about because this. I because you're getting into territory where your arguments just they just don't make any sense. They make perfect sense, Sal. Tell me what I said that doesn't make sense. Everything you said this whole episode. No, that's not true. That's not true. And that's a cop out. It's, tell it's, me what I said that doesn't make sense. It's just fucking. It's just ridiculous. No, bro. tell it's me just, what I said. It's just ridiculous. Tell me what I think that a Rice Krispie treat. No. Tell me what I said that doesn't make sense. shine the shoes. Tell me what I said that doesn't make sense. You have yet to counter argue that they're very hard to make. You have yet to counter argue that people get- They're not hard to make. They're a little messy. They're fun. You say they're hard. A little messy. I say they're fun. You were complaining about the margarita for salt coming off the glass. I say that's part of it. It's fun to try to perfect it. Make a good one. The next one's a little bit off. You never know what you're getting with the s'mores. Sometimes the chocolate's melting a little too much. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a little given a chocolate. Sometimes it's not. We were down. Sometimes a marshmallow light a blaze and they're really charred. Sometimes they're not. It's all in how we you make it. Down, that's a fun process. We were down, look, you could tell me, look, that's like arguing that you love jelly beans because you think finding them on the this. Easter egg hunt and that process is, is part of the experience. That's not it's what It's got that's nothing like. to do with the final product that's, and the flavor of the food. That's not what that's like. And you know as well as I do, it's not like when we were down the Easter shore, when we were down the shore a year ago, we got we, s'mores. We did, and it lasted, Pimp, I would say, 12 minutes. There was about 12 how minutes of on a s'more. How long is s'more supposed to last? Because nobody could make the goddamn thing. That's not true. I'll call everybody up who was on that trip with us. We all ate s'mores. So this is no, Joe. This is ate, Joe's. This is no, Joe's. No, no. This is, the, way Joe, the way Joe takes in information and then puts it back out is so wildly inaccurate. I like We bought s'mores. We sat around a literal fire pit and we all ate s'mores and we all 
liked it. Fast forward one year, we all hated the s'mores. No, no one I didn't can say that. It. No one hated it. I didn't say we it all hated it. Twelve minutes. It's just not true. I didn't Joe. say we all hated it. I said it lasted twelve minutes because nobody could do when, it. When and you, you're tired of you, it. You, and you give up. When are you home? You're, you're home in your kitchen, just throwing around crispies. You throw it on crispies and marshmallows. I like my crispies, babe. I don't gotta make them. Okay, so I you, buy them because they put my flavors together out in the wild for sale. They don't put your you flavors wanna, together you out tell, in the you wild. You want to tell me that? What do you mean, Malamars? You want to tell me right now that that it's annoying because you don't, you always fumble and don't know how to make a s'mores. You're telling me, but meanwhile, homemade rice krispie treat. You don't even dabble. You're just arguing for the prepackaged t- Kellogg's well, rice krispie treat. I don't bake. I don't bake. <laughs> it's not baking. It's not baking. Wow. It's not baking. Wow. There's no heat involved. There's not an oven involved. You dope. <laughs> Conserve energy. Well, they, they must have overheard us. Because <laughs> I am overheated. Conserve energy. New York is urging. Oh, oh, this must be fun for our listeners. <laughs> Pimps is going off now. Whoa, wait a minute. New York City is urging all households and businesses to immediately limit energy usage to prevent power outages as the intense heat continues. Please avoid the use of energy intensive appliances such as washers, dryers, and microwaves. Limit unnecessary use of air conditioning. Well, I have the air blasting full. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving before the lights go out. A s'more is a, this comes from Jenna, a s'more is a delicacy, a celebration. A Rice Krispie treat is what you bring to school as a snack. How many people got that and walked to their air conditioners and lowered them? I mean, do you have, do you see that I'm reading a comment? Do you like a taste of your own medicine? Are you nuts? You ignored me? I'm reading a comment that supports you from one of the fans, and you start talking no, over that's it. That's because you decided to exit the conversation I we all didn't. are having about New York City co- energy pointed conservation. pointed and said, this is a good comment. <laughs> what is the matter with you I'm sorry, today? Joe. I just got an alert from the government. <laughs> I hope sorry you, if I wanted to take I hope a you moment lose. to talk about conserving energy. I hope you lose. I hope you lose so bad today. I hope you lose. I hope Rice Krispies go to, goes out of business and you can never have another one in your life. And by the way, by the way, a friend of ours does bake and that friend of ours- It's not baking. That, let, me, let me finish. Let me finish. You just, and melt, friend, you just melt. And that friend of ours baked for us on that trip and I guarantee you if that friend had baked delicious Rice Krispie treats while he sat on the couch, you would have loved every second of it. I'm comparing Rice Krispie treats to a s'mores. I'm not saying that I would I would never eat a Rice Krispie treat. That's what I'm doing. Right. And there's no baking involved, Joe. You just melt the butter and you melt the marshmallow, you roll it around the Rice Krispies and you let it sit. It hardens and you eat it. Did I just blow your mind? That you thought, what'd you think? People were throwing the shit in the oven? You throw it in the oven. I don't you believe not? that you do. Do you rice, not bake rice, rice Krispie, Krispie treats treat? uh, recipe, please? It's large saucepan. Melt butter on low heat. You're not baking anything. Add Kellogg's Rice Krispie treats. Stir. That's it. Coat with cooking. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought you had to bake them. I don't know. Yeah, they're delicious. But, but how much do you love Rice Krispie treats if you've never even made them and didn't even know how? Why do I got to make them? But I you've made s'mores to the store... As I said to you 800 times, I'm saying I made them love, one time and it sucked. If you love and every them, time I tried to return to this, the, oh, the, the, was it hard to make them? It's impossible. Oh, so so that was your gripe against the s'mores. So you have the equal gripe against no. the treat you're defending. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm talking about s'mores were impossible. No, why not? But if you love Rice Krispie treats so much, why don't you try to make I them at all? Walk to the store yeah, but, and buy them. But it's just. But why would why you not, would I when I could just buy them? Because why would you not want to try your own home? Why would you? Not, why would you do that with any food? Do you cook at home at all? Yeah, why? I cook all the time. Oh, why? I cook things that I find. Why that do you I make spaghetti and meatballs when you can order from the del- I from the pizzeria? And, the- and my meatballs. Whatever, are Joe. My meatballs. Whatever, Joe. My meatballs are better than any meatballs I'm going to buy anywhere. So I'm going to make my own meatballs. Why do you make stuff at home as opposed to ordering everything at the store? Sometimes to save money. Sometimes okay. because I make it better. Okay. So you love Rice Krispie treats, mm. yet in your whole time on this earth yeah. you've never been like let me try to make my own it's yeah. simple i uh, love it no because i thought it was baking quite frankly and i don't bake. Yo, you don't even know i don't bake. what goes into a rice krispie treat i walk to the store and i buy it you like showed a your king. hand you showed your hand like a king you showed your hand you don't let's even see you don't even know you don't even know let's read a few more quotes you don't even know what the rice krispie treat was comprised of i had to tell you it was butter let's 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 you defend defending a treat that you have low to little knowledge of S'mores are the trailer park cousin. Messy and never all together. Rice Krispie treats are the high class option. That is the stupidest thing. I actually want to. I actually want to insult. I actually want to insult whoever this is. Who 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 did that? A, 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 he, 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 he baby, hizzy baby. 
You, Pilsy. Th- that is so far. Off. Anybody who knows anything about life or writing a joke would know that the Rice Krispie Treat is the low. Can, can you scroll back to that, pimp? S'mores are the trailer park. Everyone knows the Rice Krispie Messy Treats. Never all together. Rice Krispie Treats would be assigned the trailer park option there. No. And the high class me- treat no, would be the s'mores. S'more, because Rice Krispie Treats are never messy and not all together. S'mores always are. That that's my point. That's, you want to tell stupid. me this elusive Bigfoot uh, s'more that doesn't exist that nobody's ever seen, then fine. I want I want to buy, I want to spend money Although on cereal. Although I work cereal. for Hershey's, I got to give it to Rice Krispies. I, I want to spend money on cereal. That has had melted marshmallow dumped on it, wrapped in saran wrap, s'mores. and sits like a brick on top of a deli counter. I want to take it at lukewarm temperature, open it up, not prepackaged in the factory, mind you. Open up someone's weird saran wrap, and I want to just bite. And you know what? You ever get half the time As I've ever found myself in to a situation it on a stick that a raccoon fucking pissed and on, the, and you're worried about a deli saran wrap? Half the time I've eaten a Rice Krispie treat, it's been stale. Discuss. Oh, please. Never. Discuss it. Not once. You, not once. Not you've once You've never ever. had a stale rice crisp treat? Not once Oh, uh, you must live in the, in the village with the elves. Now, whenever I make a s'more. Making them fresh daily. I'll tell you what, folks. I like a drink. I do <laughs> like a drink. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> and I'll tell you the thing I have a hard time with sometimes, that there are a lot of different varieties of drink out there that I care for, and there are a lot of specific types of drink and varieties within those specific types of drink that I like. For instance, maybe I'm driving at a hard seltzer here. You got a lot of hard seltzers out on that market. What? But does any distinguish themselves from anyone else and for good well, reason? This is what I like about Vizzy. Vizzy is the only, first and only hard seltzer with antioxidant vitamin C. They're bringing something unique and delicious to the table. Jesus, how long have you waited for a booze that's also good for I you? Do, I, I, <laughs> I do want to feel a little better about drinking. Hard seltzers are delicious. You can pound them down. But even better if I'm getting antioxidants and vitamin C in there. Are you kidding me? There are plenty of hard seltzers to choose from, but with eight bold and delicious dual fruit flavors and antioxidants, vitamin C, Vizzy makes the choice a little easier. It's a lot tastier. Yeah, I love these flavors, too. Pineapple mango, black cherry lime, strawberry kiwi, Blueberry pomegranate, my favorite. Papaya passion fruit, watermelon strawberry, blackberry lemon, also delish. Raspberry tangerine. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get with Vizzy. You can now enjoy refreshment with antioxidant vitamin C. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Get with Vizzy. You can enjoy a refreshment that also has antioxidant vitamin C. 5% alcohol by volume, 100 calories, and less than one gram of real cane sugar per can. Every sip of Vizzy is more exhilarating. Go over to VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash taste buds. That's V I Z Z Y hard seltzer.com slash taste buds. Go to VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash taste buds. Check it out for yourself. Upgrade your hard seltzer to Vizzy. Sal, I want to talk to you about Buffy and their latest product, the Breeze Comforter. I know all about it. This it's thing, hypoallergenic. 100% it's breathable fiber. Eucalyptus fiber. Out. It's good on the planet. It's sustainable. It regulates your temperature. You will not overheat. You will not have night sweats. It's yeah. softer than cotton. Eucalyptus uses 10 times less water than cotton to grow, and its fiber is produced using recyclable, earth-friendly solvents. Look, we got a lot of globally conscious, you know, earth-friendly listeners. Yeah. And for them, we have a special product just for them. Just for them. We but get also, hit up all the time. We love all the products. You can have it if you're not earth conscious too. It's still yeah, a great you can, product. You cannot be, yeah, exactly. You know, you know but it's no, just, you could just be. You could be your regular old piece of garbage and still <laughs> enjoy this. Still enjoy this. You could you could be throwing plastic bottles in the street and still but enjoy I mean, the Buffy. The point is, is Buffy's doing the right thing, uh, and I love this comforter. I had actually purchased a new comforter right before I got my Buffy one, and I put the old the new one under my bed, and I only use the Buffy one now <laughs> because it finally took away my night sweats. It finally kept me cool and comfortable all night long, and I do like quite a bit that it's cruelty-free. It's not hurting any animals. It's hypoallergenic and all that other good stuff. Even if all that stuff doesn't tickle your fancy, the point is, is that it's soft and breathable, okay? And this is the best part, and I like any company that does this. It's a free trial, and if you don't like it, you can return it at no cost, which means it's 
completely risk-free. So you hear us talk about this stuff all the time, products here, products there, and maybe you don't want to take the plunge. For something like this, they take that guesswork out of it. Right. Order it. You don't like it, send it back. They give you your money back. Exactly. What do you have so, to lose? Go to Buffy.co. That's B-U-F-F-Y dot C-O and enter the code TASTEBUDS. That's B-U-F-F-Y dot C-O and enter the code TASTEBUDS. You're going to get $20 off your Buffy comforter plus that free trial. Woo! Thanks, Buffy. Whenever I make a s'more and the marshmallow isn't perfectly golden brown, I hear Gordon Ramsay in my head saying, you cook the shit out of it. It's fucking raw. It's way too hard to get it right. Wow, I'm seeing a trend here in the comments that sound a lot like what I've been yeah, saying the whole because time. What you we're can't get it because right. Because what we're discussing is how to get it right, not just the taste. <sighs> Inadmissible. Nobody's ever said- had the taste because nobody's ever had it made right. Joe... Do you want to? Do you want to just let me let, let you want me to let that? Look, no, 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 before you saying. speak again, before you speak again, do you want me to let that comment you just shouted out? As you said that comment, I saw your eyes, and you knew that you said one of the classic Joe DeRosa comments that look is not at true. What everybody, Nobody's ever made it right. Look what everybody That's is not true. true. Look at what everybody is saying. Everybody is saying if I lose, too hard if I do. lose, if I lose, you're going to. Yeah, because you know what? You got the brand name behind you. Because these people uh, excuses, know Rice Krispies, they know Kellogg's. Excuses, excuses. I, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just. I think. I said you wanted to do this. This was your s'mores, idea. The s'mores is a more decadent treat. It's. A, I think it's a more creative Great. treat. I think it's a more fun experience to eat. I think that when you have s'mores, you're, you're actually you're, you're everyone's excited. Oh, let's have s'mores tonight. Oh. We'll get the ingredients yeah, to yeah. s'mores. It's no, part of the process. You put it on a skewer. There's open flame. You I understand. In front of the open, all these I understand. Things. It the doesn't ambiance. mean it's better. The ambiance. But that doesn't make it better. Stop saying you ambiance. Don't food, and, and food over an open flame Stop. that you're making Sal. fresh and it's melting Sal. in the palm of your hand Sal. is not better Stop. than a brick of crisp Sal. rice. Sal. Oh, That's I Sal. can't take this Sal. anymore. It's like I'm going crazy. Sal. <laughs> there are, you're making two different arguments. Food fresh in the palm of your hand is one argument. I will listen to that argument. Ambiance for quality of food is not an argument. It's like saying I like crawfish better than shrimp because I enjoy the ambiance and experience of pulling the tails off and sucking on them. You stupid asshole. It's ridiculous. I'm bringing this up on the heels of you saying that you hate it because you could never make it right and it's too difficult to make. So yeah. you could put a strike that means against it's a shit the food. S'mores. You could put a strike against the shit food. You could put a strike against the s'mores for how hard it is to make, and I can't counter argue your point and say I think making it is fun. Fun, and then you tell me it you is, can't bring in that it's it fun is to the make? White, what are you talking it about? It is the white whale Moby Dicks of foods. It doesn't exist. It's not real. It has never occurred. I have yeah. never seen it come you're out Moby successfully. Di- you're the Moby Dicks of dicks. <laughs> S'mores is a gangbang of flavors. Well, Rice Krispies is just cereal and marshmallows. That's one that agrees with you. There you go. I could already hear... Who, oh, here we go. I could already hear whoever arguing for Rice Krispies saying s'mores are too messy. Guess what, though? It's worth it. Oh, there you go. S'mores give a great summer vibe, and they're fun to make. Easy choice for me. Who the fuck... Who- who, oh, yeah. Who the fuck would choose that dry-ass sponge-looking disgrace of a snack over a s'more? That's very funny. The s'more is too much work for too little a reward. You have to craft a whole-ass fire, roast the marshmallow, put it together. Then after the first bite, you've got a sticky marshmallow, melted chocolate and hams, as well as graham crackle crumbs in your lap. Rice crispy. S'mores are super messy. So, uh, I, you know, I don't hear. I don't hear anyone being like, but, but, uh, but that guy will complain about the whole point of making a s'more. And he but said then for not too be, little reward. But, but then, but, but then not that, but, 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 because. But, but, Sal, but what about Rice Krispie treats? But Sal, Rice Krispie treats come together, and the flavor is consistent, and it's a consistent experience. S'mores, you might get one bite of the mixture, and then it falls apart, no, and you're eating Joe. three separate ingredients again. No, you're not. Yes, you are. Nobody starts just pounding all the ingredients separately, but you in this fake hypothetical argument. Everybody look how many forges people said it. forward, look and how many fingers, fingers are, and it's sticky, and you look, get sticky, you're, and that's your part, number of, one it. Complaint, is part your of it. Your number one apart. complaint is the messiness of food in this podcast. You've argued that more than anything else. I've heard you argue again. Not true. I don't what? Even... Pimp? 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 Oh pimp? 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 When you hear my pimp voice, did it on the... when you hear my voice in this podcast, do you hear me constantly complaining about how messy a food is? <laughs> you did it on the last episode. You complained about the messiness of the margarita on the last episode. All I did was say that that the salt always ends up you inevitably it's a messy fall, drink. falling off the rim. You did it with. <laughs> It, you did it, it with the ice cream sandwich. You said it sucked having the chocolate all over your fingers. I said, a big deal. You lick it off your fingers. You said, that's disgusting. I don't want to do that. Uh, right? 
Now you're saying power through the s'more. It's great licking the ooze because, off your because hand. Because this is part of the whole experience of a s'mores. I think that this is an endearing quality to the s'mores. I'm not allowed to have nuance in my opinions. You, you're going to oh, tell me that this. it's a blank. Oh, Joe. You see, when I start talking, do you see what he does? Do you see what he checks out? He looks forward and he blocks me out completely. When I'm actually making a calm counterpoint, he'll say his point and then he'll ignore my counterpoint. We're both guilty of that. We're both guilty of that. We both talk over each other. We both don't listen. I'm sorry. Finish your point. I don't want to. Finish your point. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Finish your point. I'm done. Finish your point. I'm done with it. Stop it. I'm done with this episode. Uh, all right. Sal is going to use the messiness argument against whichever one he isn't defending, and he's right. That guy's way off. Uh, if I had a dollar for every pan of Rice Krispie treats I've eat, I've shame. shame eaten in my life, I'd almost have enough for the rising cost of insulin in this country. Uh, what do you think? Potential winner? No? No. You are hot, dude. It's I'm actually sweating because it is so hot out today. Damn, that's a good one. All your others had relatively obvious answers. Ooh. Well, we got to pick a winner, buddy. I swear to God, if I lo- even if I lose, if this is not I neck and neck. I say we retweet the girl that got molested. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah. It's not funny. It's funny that we would retweet it. Yeah, retweet that. Who that. knows if she even got molested? What's her name? I know, she might be kidding. I hope she didn't. No, I, I hope, hope she, she just either. was making a, a joke. And if she did get molested, she's comfortable enough talking about it. We're just following your tone. All right. Uh, where's she at? Uh, on Oh, it is a guy. Uh, don't kill, at Don't Kill Justin. Follow at Don't Kill Justin. You can't, you can't put up a, a deli counter treat by the register to something that's made over an open flame with better ingredients. That's my closing. That's argument. like, okay. And my closing argument is this, that's like saying a, a hot dog because you roast it over an open flame with a stick and the experience of all that. And the fact that you're cooking it on a flame yourself is better than any deli sandwich you could get because it, it's, I just don't agree. It it's is not, not true. It is not like saying that. Why is when it you not? draw comparisons? No, you... I actually drew a great comparison. No, you didn't. That's a big camping thing. Put hot dogs on a stick. Put it over the flame. Won't that be fun? Yeah, it's fun for five minutes. Then you go, this doesn't taste that great. I'd rather have like a fucking cheeseburger from McDonald's. Nobody's ever going, no, you know, but the you probably enjoy a, You probably enjoy a freshly charred, open-flamed hot dog. You, 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 you take the narrative to just to appeal to your point. No, it, you always do that. That's You're like, no argument. one's ever roasted a hot dog and liked it. That's ever. What, no, I didn't say it's that. Like what? But I that's said the kind of shit you say. No, I said it's good, but it's like saying you just compared be- combining three ingredients that are better together. They're, they're mm-hmm. some of their parts are greater than them individually, sure. and having them hot and the experience of them melting sure. are all part of the charm. To comparing putting a hot dog on fire and p- choosing a deli okay. sandwich instead. Okay, if I want to cook a hot dog over an open flame, bun and all, with with peppers on it or some kind of third ingredient that I think makes hot dogs. Great. Ketchup, whatever it is. If I'm going to cook a hot dog all over an open flame, because it's three ingredients, and it all comes together over the open flame, and it's so clean. And then there's a guy next to me with a grill, and he goes, I can just grill you up a lobster. I'd be like, no, the experience of making the hot dog on the open flame, you, it's just if, so if you special believe, to me. If you believe that. That, that, that lobster's only one ingredient. <laughs> Mine is three. It's better. Uh, my heart goes out to all the people listening and watching right now that are in their car punching the steering wheels, that are listening to this man make arguments that make no logical sense whatsoever. Comparing they, just because hot you don't dogs agree. and lobster to... Rice Krispie treats and s'mores. All right, pimp, oh. show us the numbers, baby. Oh, Christ. Yes. Yes. By a percent. Yes. By a goddamn percent. Yes. <laughs> It's got to hurt. It's got to hurt to lose by that little. It's got to hurt. It's got to hurt to lose by that little. (laughs) Last week, I lost by the greatest margin of victory ever. And this week, I'm down to 1%. They both sting just as much. This hurts more. 51.6% 51.6% Rice Krispie this Treats. Is, this is rematch territory. It's under 2%. It means that in f- an hour and in three hours and in five hours, we could check back and the tides could easily swing. This is, this is, actu- this is, actual, this is actual bullshit. Buddy, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> 
Buddy, look at me. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. You know what? You don't have to look at me. The gloating. The gloating. The, this... This, Buddy, is, look this at is me. actually, you know what I, you know what I am? I'm mad at our listeners right now. I'm mad at our listeners right now because they, this one they got wrong. This one they got wrong. Well, guess what? It's 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 a box of Rice Krispies. Well, guess what? With marshmallow well, on. Guess them. what? I still love you. I love you too. <laughs> Wait, keep this going. Don't forget to write to us. What's the, what's the address? Info at tastebudspod.com. For the merch. H- hit us up with what merch you'd like to see. Uh, both what you'd like to see it on. If you'd like us to do some kitchen stuff or some food stuff, not just T-shirts or hoodies or hats, which we'll probably do. Uh, you know, we might put them on some glasses. Who knows? You might have some fun stuff. I don't know. Maybe oven Some Mitch. sippy cups. That'd be fun. Maybe a stick. Water bottles. That you'd bring into the forest uh-huh, uh-huh. to make a sm- <laughs> and, and let us know And let us know what you want on the, on the merch. You you know what? Oh, oh. Maybe I a spatula that you'd maybe mix up some take. Rice Krispie treats with. Hit us up. Taste buds. They come into the mic talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds.